gender affects how we interact with each other. And since tabletop games are essentially a group interaction, I think it's worth talking about how gender might impact how we game. <laughs> based on our experiences, uh, things that have happened to us, uh, movies we've watched, books we've read, and people who have had different experiences than you can come up with all kinds of things, characters and settings and ideas that you might never have thought of. Tabletop games are a male-dominated hobby. Most players are male, the vast majority of game designers are male. I think to a large extent we're missing out on women's experiences. Why might women not feel comfortable at the table? Well, sexism shows up a lot in the fictional aspect of games, by fictional, I mean the story, the setting, the characters. There are damsels in distress, voiceless victims, and a lot of out-and-out -out sex objects. In general, female characters whose only purpose is to motivate the actions of male characters. When I see those kinds of degrading stereotypes, it doesn't matter what the medium is, I kind of stop caring. I disengage. You want players who are actively engaged in your game, who care about the story, and who are motivated to contribute. There have been quite a few studies, like the one I linked to in the notes, that have shown that in group discussions, women are less likely to put forward their ideas, they're more likely to be interrupted, and they're more likely to let the one who interrupted them go on speaking. It's likely that even if women are being welcomed to the table, their contributions aren't necessarily being heard. Obviously, these are generalizations. We all know very assertive female players and very passive male players. But I encourage you to do some research into gender and group interactions. The information is out there. So how do you address these issues in play? Well, all I ask is that players, and especially GMs, be aware. Avoid the kind of sexist tropes that I talked about earlier. And if you have a player who's constantly interrupting others and pushing their ideas at the expense of others, call them on it. And if you have a player who's very hesitant to speak up and lets everyone else go first, maybe it's just a matter of saying, hey, what do you think? We need to talk about gender when we're talking about the kinds of interactions that take place in a role-playing game. Why is it still such a male-dominated hobby? And what can we do to make women feel more welcome at the table? I look forward to hearing your thoughts.